Um, I think um, there are basically three consequences. First of all, uh, we just uh, mentioned it before, a, a shattering individualism. Uh, we, we see a shattering individualism permeating every layer uh, of society. Uh, human beings have always been individualistic, but I think today this is even more dramatic. We, we live in a society where traditional individualism has uh, been substituted by radical individualism. This has led, secondly, in turn, to a profound decay of commitment. We relate without commitment. We want relationships, but we refuse commitment. The strong links that used to be forever now are just for a short term, have an early expiry date. I mentioned in the lecture that uh, Richard Sennett, the American sociologist, says that in our society the only long-term commitment we have is with our mortgage. We have to pay our mortgage. We refuse long-term commitments. And all this finally leads to uh, emotional problems, broken relationships as a result of fragile commitments, broken relationships lead to emotional problems, anxiety, a dramatic increase in anxiety, depression, loneliness. I think it's, uh, it's absolutely astounding that uh, the United Kingdom has uh, appointed a minister in the cabinet called the Minister for Loneliness. Uh, having to deal with the problems that uh, are caused by loneliness. I think this is a unique feature of the 21st century which expresses this social pathology that we, that of the world we live in.